Welcome back to Vibes and Decor. It's your girl Ebony Noir. And before I continue, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support so far. You guys are something amazing. Okay, so today's video is supposed to be a get to know me, right? But you guys did not ask me questions. You did not ask me questions in the comment section, so I can't do a get to know me without your questions. So today I'm going to be doing something else. We are going to be discussing window treatment. Window treatments are simply what you put on your windows, like your curtains and your blinds. So if you've ever been in the dilemma when selecting a window treatment, maybe, oh, should I go for curtain? Should I go for blind? Which one will fit my space? Well, this video is for you. Keep watching. Just save one, you just go through it, sharp, 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 you're done. So these factors are costs. The second one is the style and mood of your space. We are going to talk about privacy and blackout. We'll talk about the selection process and the variety in designs. We are also going to touch maintenance and durability. And I might forget, is that up to seven? I'm, I'm not sure, but don't worry, I'll remember as I keep going. <laughs> Okay, so the first factor you should consider when picking out your window treatment is the cost. Um, most people assume that um, curtains are more expensive than blind because you have to buy so many accessories, you have to buy the rod, you have to buy the tie back ropes, you have to buy the tie back hooks and all that. But what they don't know is blinds also have accessories. But the difference is you don't have to buy the accessories yourself. The person that is making your blind will probably buy them and install them for you. So the cost is already in the total cost of your blind. So when it comes to cost of these treatments, it's very, very relative. You can pick out fabrics that are very expensive and you can also pick out blinds that are quite cheap. We have so many designs of blinds. We have Vanessa blinds, we have Vanessa wooden, we have what we call the at night blind in the Nigerian market. And when you look at it, they all come in varieties of quality. So you can't just say that, oh, cotton is more expensive, oh, blind is more expensive. And mind you, okay, let me just give you an instance. I can decide to style the window with cotton and pick out accessories that are not so expensive. You can get tie back hooks and ropes that are as cheap as 2000 naira in the market. And you can also get for as high as 6000 naira, even higher. And for your blinds, too, you can get quality for as low as 5000 per square meter. And you can also get for as high as 18000 per square meter. So it all runs down to your choices and your style and your quality. So that is how. That those are the things you should consider when it comes to the cost of your window treatment. Don't just conclude that, oh, this one is more expensive, that one is more expensive. You have to experiment first, you have to make your research and get the prices of the ones that you like. Then you can decide which one you're going for. So the second factor to consider is the style, sorry, <laughs> the style and the mood of your space. What are you going for in your space? Are you the type that likes the simple um, decor? You just want lines, you want precision, you don't want all the textures and all the colors and all the ribbons and all those things, then blind is your go-to. Not that you cannot get simple designs with curtains, but where there is cotton, there is gather. So which means there is drama. So if you don't want that kind of drama, you just want a blank surface on your window blinds are your choice there are varieties of designs in blinds now that comes in different patterns and colors but you will tend to get um, simpler designs when it comes to blind than in cotton unless you just want to go for plain fabrics and by the way they will still gather so you still have that texture but you're going you want to go for 
the baroque design you want to go for the victorian style you want to go for the luxurious curtains design and even if you want to go for minimalist you are still on point with curtains so with curtains you can do whatever you want to do you can get whatever style with blinds you can but you might not be able to be as dramatic as you want with your style as you would with the curtains so that is that. The next factor to consider is privacy and blackouts. I mean, what's the point of window treatment? What's the point of curtain? What's the point of blind? If not to be able to have privacy and to switch and on and off the, the intensity of the natural light you want into your space. There are some people that want their space to be bright all day. And there are some that even during the day, they still want that cozy, dark look, that blackout. And there are some that want both. Like me, I want both. I want to be able to juggle. Sometimes I want the brightness, sometimes I want to be in the dark, yes. So it's good to know these things before you go all out to pick out your window treatment. For curtains, no doubt, you have control over your blackout. You have your privacy. Because as we all know, even if you don't know, I'm telling you now. Curtains come in two um, layers. You have the thicker fabric on the outer part and you have the lighter fabric, the inner fabric inside, which is always a lighter color. So when you want a black heart, it's easy for you to just close the darker fabric over a time. Light intensity is reduced drastically. And if you want brightness, you just open it. Still having your privacy. So when it comes to black heart and privacy, Curtains are on point. When it comes to blinds, too, you have your privacy. As long as you have something hanging over your windows, your privacy is there. But when it comes to blackout with curtains, with blinds, you have to be selective with the colors. Because let's say you want a wooden Venetian blind. Fine, your blackout is guaranteed. But if you're going for the day and night blind, you have to be very choosy with your color because if you go for a lighter color like white, cream, light blue, even when the night um, part is closed, there are still lights coming in because of the color you get. The intensity of the light is still coming into the space. But if you choose a darker color like black, like brown, dark blue, that way you are still able to control the intensity of light drastically because when you close the next part where the light comes in you have a blackout unlike when it's a lighter color it's going to be hard to have a total blackout generally you can't have a total blackout during the day especially when you have windows even with curtains there will still be some light that is why it's called day but the intensity will be drastically reduced so the next point we are going to be checking out is the selection process and variety of designs. When it comes to the selection process, I mean, you've decided, oh, I want cotton, oh, I want blind. So now it's time to select. Um, what I've discovered is with blinds, the, 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 okay, I'm going to drop pictures and videos of the, um, what's it called, the catalog that these blinds come in on the screen. They come in really small, um, samples so and with pictures too you get but it's really really hard to like be able to picture what the full blind is going to be like unless you've seen it somewhere of course but if you've not seen it anyway and that is your first time of seeing that particular blind then you're considering it unless you go to um, bigger showrooms that um, put their designs on show even they have limited um, Full display. Most of their um, most of their products are usually in the small catalog, so it's kind of hard for you to picture the the full results or what to expect at the end of the day. So it's kind of more like, okay, I like this, or let me go for it. You never can tell how it will turn out. You might end up liking it. You might end up like, oh, this is not what I was hoping for. But do you get what I'm saying? But when it comes to curtains, if you go to the market. To choose your fabric, these fabrics always come in rows, so you can see fully what you are buying. With that flower, you can see where the flower heads. 
If it has leaf, you can see where the leaf ends. So you are sure you know this is what my cotton is going to be like once it is installed. Even the cotton, some fabrics comes in catalogs. Maybe you're dealing with an interior designer and they bring catalogs for you to choose your fabrics from. These fabrics are usually like bigger, the samples are bigger, so you can easily visualize what the end product would be like. So now, the selection process will take us to the right end designs. Right now, blind production is on the high. Nice um, patterns, nice colors are coming up. Even I've seen, even ones with children cartoon characters are coming up now. So there are varieties now you get. So, but it's still limited. Why? Because of the way the design is. Wooden is wooden, plastic is plastic, metal is metal. The day and night, which is the fabric, is limited because it's more like straight lines. So there is limits to what they can do on those straight lines. There is limits to the patterns they can put on them. There is limits to the designs they can put on them. So when it comes to all those um, patterns and lines and everything with blinds, they are kind of limited. So it also depends on your taste. If you are someone that um, does not really even like lines and patterns before, well, you are good to go. Like you will see nice colors, plain colors and blinds that are dyed that you die for, so you don't have problem. But when it comes to curtains, we all know now, uh -uh, so many, 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 many varieties of designs. Even from the, even, let's talk about the textures first. You have silk, you have net, you have velvet, you have um, even, um, what's it called, you have crepe. You have so many textures to choose from. From the light fabric, the lightweight fabric to the very thick one, you can decide the kind of texture you want. When it comes to patterns too, you have the ones with the horizontal lines, you have vertical lines, you have florals, you have the ones that comes in focal dots. You have the ones in cartoon characters for your kids room. You have so many choices, so many varieties to pick from when it comes to variety designs in um, window treatment. So um, you also have plain. Maybe you don't want to go for too many patterns and all that. You also have lovely plain fabrics that will adorn your windows very well. So those are something you should put in mind when going out. So if you're looking for, oh, I'm looking for a cartoon character, I'm looking for a cartoon character, it can be limited, like, hard for you to find in, in blinds. You would find, you would, if you know where to look. But when it comes to curtains, you don't have to look far. Go to any curtain market, they are there. You will find it even before you walk one meter. You see what you are looking for. So that's that. Another thing to also consider is the size of your window and the availability and dimension of the treatment you are picking. Blinds are limited in dimension. Let's just know that. If you are going for a bigger window, you are going to have to cut the gap though, put like two or three blinds on the window. So if you are not in for that kind of look, just go for your cutting because with curtains you can join the rods, you can join the fabrics, especially when it's done by professional, you won't even know. So for bigger windows, you can easily go for curtain. For blinds, just go for normal sized windows. When it comes to the size of the window, when your window is small and your ceiling is kind of low, it's better to use curtain in order to like enlarge the size of the window to make it look bigger. That is another story for another day because if I dive into that right now, we will not leave here today. So that is that about the size and dimensions. So now let's talk about the durability and maintenance. I mean, we all grew, okay, more, and not, maybe not all of us, most of us grew up with curtains in our house. And I can remember that the curtain in my own father's house was there for years and years and years. We just had to wash it like twice in a year and maintain it. So with curtains, durability is assured. Once you install it, all you have to do is maintain it every once in a while bring it down, wash, and it's easy to install. So it's, you can install it by yourself, so it's easy to maintain and it's quite durable. Also, consider the kind of fabrics too. Don't go and buy um, tissue fabric and you, even with those kind of fabrics, if it's just on your window, you can use them for as long as you want. You are the one that will get tired. When it comes to blinds, um, you have to be considerate of so many factors. 
The cleaning of blinds and all that easy because they collect dust easily. Dust settles on them. So you have to clean them every once in a while. You have to maintain that clean look every once in a while. Unlike curtains that you might leave for months and not wash and they are still very, very okay. So guys, when it comes to uh, maintenance, curtains are easy to maintain. Blinds takes effort to maintain because you have to clean and you can't just bring down your blind unless you know the technical know-how of the installation. So you always need the professional to let me install for you when you bring it down. So now the last point is automation. I know some of you will always wonder, oh, can I use automation on my curtains? Can I use automation on my blind? Automation is simply when there is a motto installed on your window treatment so you can use remote control or button to control the movements to open to close to slide up and down whatever you want to do you can do with button that is automation so both can be done on i'm um, sorry automation can be done on boats you don't have any problem with that if you blind your button automation can be done so if that is what you're looking at you're good to go either with blinds or with cotton so guys, I hope you've learned so much from this video and I hope I didn't talk too fast. I didn't want the video to be too long. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you watch my next video too. So if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. My next video is going to be 5B. Trust me. Look forward to it. I can't wait to see you guys again. Take care. Bye. Okay guys. Thanks so much for watching once again. Let me know in the comment section what window treatments you prefer. Are you a cotton person or a blind lover? You can also drop your questions for me so we can do how I get to know me soon. Take care and be safe. Bye.